Yeah. Hello friends. In this video, let's talk about how to work with a alternate row colors in SSRS. This is one of the important feature in SSRS which helps to improve the user experience on a user reports. Almost we use this for a tabular reports. Let me show you what are all the uh, columns and what is the table I'm, I'm planning to use for this report. So I am using adventure works. So which is having uh, 290 records with around uh, 10 plus columns if you see here. So business entity ID, national ID number, login ID, organizational node and so on like this. So this is the data I'm planning to use for my report. So you, you can use uh, based on your convenience. So let's quickly come to the uh, Visual Studio or SQL Server data tools. So let's add a, a new item here. So give the naming as a um, color. I'm just keeping as a color dot RDL. Let's click on add. So this is the report. I, I got it actually. So let's quickly add a data source here Add data sources and let's select the uh, shared data source. I already created uh, in, uh, in the last example. Let's click on OK. Let's come to the data set. Click on data set. It was embedded in my data set data source and let's quickly copy and paste the query. Okay, so let's quickly click on OK. So once you click on OK, you will be getting the list of columns here. So now let's quickly uh, come to a table report. Let's insert the table here. Okay, so let's quickly come here national uh, ID number. Next as a login ID. Let's quickly see the preview. Yeah, I'm getting this. So now add couple of columns here. Add a couple of columns here. Let's add here as a organizational node. Next one is organization level. Next one is one more column. Job title. Let's quickly come to the preview. Yeah. So organizational level is one, two, three, and the organizational node is coming as error. Let me see what is the data here. Organizational. Okay. This is some different data. Let me remove this. Okay. And level also I'll remove it. I don't have any uh, thing. Let me add uh, other columns add uh, let me add a um, job title co covered uh, gender and uh, let me add a, a higher data something like that okay so let's click on here now this is a um, data let me add here at the beginning as a business entity id okay, click on here okay so this is the um, report I, I, i'm i'm seeing now so if you see here, each and every record has the same background color. So now I want to change the color of this uh, uh, record, actually alternate color. I want to put uh, like like a light gray or um, uh, dark gray, something like that. I, that was my requirement. So before that, let me add um, some styles to the uh, header. Okay, so business, uh, uh, this one I made as a bold italic and let's make it as a background color as a little uh, this color. Okay. So now let me increase little. So let me increase a little. Okay, let's quickly come to the preview. Yeah, so little uh, bit, uh, bit okay. So let me increase uh, some more login IDs here. Let me see the preview. Yeah, somewhat is okay. So let me even uh, increase some more this. Let me increase this preview. Yeah. Okay, so somewhat better now. So now let's quickly come to the uh, alternate uh, color now. So now uh, I want I need to identify the alternate row. Then only I can uh, keep a color for that particular uh, row. So ideally, uh, if you see here, so uh, this is a row one. This is a row two, row three, row four. So I am planning to divide this row number with a, a two actually. So if I divide row number with two, if I get a reminder. I'll keep one color. If I don't get a reminder, remainder as zero means I'll put a different color. So if I divide with uh, a two, if I get a, a reminder means that is a, a odd record. If I don't get a reminder, then that is a even record. See, ideally you will get odd, even, even, odd, uh, sorry, odd, even, odd, even like that, right? So that, that's how you need to fill them a uh, color for each and every uh, row in a SSRS. So now let's uh, quickly go there. So here before that, so if you see here, each and every record uh, is having a business entity ID of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. So it's a sequential number for me. So there are two scenarios I'm going to show you. So I'll, I'll use this color, this um, ID to get the alternate row color. 
and there are cases you may not be having um, the sequential incremental number so that time how to put I'll, I'll show you that as well so let me show you the first scenario I am planning to use a business entity ID to identify a alternate uh, color for a each and every row so let's select this so this is entire row okay I need to change the color for entire row not a single column select this entire so click on F4 functional key F4 okay once you click on F4 you get uh, properties in the right side uh, by default so there are uh, cases where you get these properties in the left side or down or somewhere but uh, the the purpose or the the, um, the setting uh, of the properties will be the same now let's quickly come here yet background color by default is no color it means that there is no color by default you will get a kind of white background so let's select this so once you select this you get a one kind of down arrow let's select this so here you will see uh, different different colors so let's not uh, touch any of it go to the expression because i need to identify even and odd records so based on that i need to put a color so by default is no color okay so now let's uh, you need to put a condition equal to iif immediate f of so i'm going to put it as i mentioned i am planning to use them uh, uh, business entity id so if you know the spelling that's fine otherwise you can come here and select the business entity id business entity id mod mod is a, a, a keyword in um, ssrs2 okay mod2 comma so now i need to put what is a true uh, behavior true behavior i want to put it as a uh, uh, some what is a, a light uh, gray color okay comma if it is a false uh, false means i want to put it as a no color let's assume it white or no color both are same okay close the parenthesis click on okay that's it so that's how you need to uh, uh, set the background color expression so once it's done let's quickly preview it so now you can see here now you can see the first is a kind of a odd number you got um, if you get a reminder you get a, a gray color if you don't have a reminder you get a white color something like that so this is how you need to set the alternate color for each and every record in a ssrs report so now so luckily i have a business entity id and that is also a sequential incremental number so it's it became easy for me to get the uh, alternate color now let me show you uh, the uh, uh, negative case in the same example let me quickly come here okay so sorry not here yeah otherwise send let yes quickly come here so here i'm i'm going to put it as a so where business entity id not equal to 1 so that i'll get a um, uh, let me come here i'm not able to see this okay where i am i'm showing you a negative case where um, not equal to 1 okay so now i should be getting uh, two not equal to 1 not in let me put it as not in uh, not in uh, one comma three just to see okay let me put it go to preview now two four see if you see so what i am trying to show you is two and four now i i don't have alternate uh, color uh, um, uh, for two and four why because i restricted one and three records in the result set so in this case uh, my expression did not work because i dependent on i was i was too dependent on business entity id so this is a reason why you should not be using the value which is coming from a database if you really want alternate row color okay so let me come back to the expression and i'll show you so what is the other way and what is the best way of doing it so select the entire row click on f4 okay and go to the same place come here come here and click on expression here so let's not use this column which is coming from a database so because the value which is coming from database is on demand or like a, it might vary based on the logic which is defined in a data set or uh, the data might vary in a database table so so that time you need to use a row number function row number of uh, nothing okay so row number of nothing so it means that it gives you the number for each and every record okay so now by default if you are getting 10 records you'll get 1 2 3 4 if you're getting only two records you'll get only one and two so irrespective of uh, that business entity id uh, you'll get the alternate uh, numbers now let's quickly come to the preview here 
Now, if you see here, even though 2 and 4, both are even numbers, you got a gray color for the first, second for um, uh, white color, gray and all. So, now even let me come here and let me remove the restriction in the data set. Come here, design, let's come here and let me remove the restriction here, where class, still my report works perfectly with alternate row color. Yes, if you see here, 1, 2, 3, even though I have a even number for business entity ID or odd number for business entity, still I get an alternate row color for my report, tabular report. So this is how we are going to set the expressions to get an alternate row color in a SSRS reports. So that's it. Let's meet in the next session. Thank you.